Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you one of our new products. It can be found uh, through our eBay store at ElectronicLessons.com or at our website EngineeringShock.com. Uh, it's a DC to DC power supply with a display. Uh, it can uh, display. You can have a 0 to 40 volts on the input, zero and four, uh, same at the output. Uh, and you can change. You can change the output um, voltage. Now, right now, it's showing me the input voltage. Now the resolution on my scope is is to, to, at, at a 200 volts, so um, I can actually show you how accurate it is. It's pretty accurate, but I'm going to go back to the 200 volt setting. Uh, so if I press this button, I see the output voltage, um, or sorry, the input voltage. If I press it again, by default, it shows me the output voltage. So just in case you wanted to see exactly what was at your input voltage. You press this button, or you press it again, the microcontroller says, okay, now let's look at the output voltage. Now you can change the voltage of the output by tuning this variable resistor. Let's just stop it around 15 volts. There we go. Pretty neat. Uh, and the cool thing is, is you can go from 0 to 40 volts. I'm sorry about that. And uh, the uh, standard, uh, the max output is 3 amps. Uh, nominal uh, and continuous output is maximum of 2 amps. Um, another cool thing is you can actually pop off this little jumper here, even on the fly, to uh, save power. As you can see, the display turned off and the display circuitry turned off. Now, this, this doesn't affect the, uh, the device. You can still vary the output based uh, on the maximum input voltage. So if you have, say, 20 volts of the input, you can uh, change the output to roughly 0 to 20 volts, or uh, rather 1.2 to 20 volts. There will be a little bit of a loss, so if you say you have 20 volts, maybe you, you, the maximum you'll be able to get is about 18 to 20 volts. Uh, but if you have a really high DC voltage, you know, can't put AC on the input. Keep that in mind. But if you have a DC input, you can have uh, 0 to 40 volts. Um, so yeah, it's very easy to use, and if I want to plug in my display again, it's just that easy. I did actually make a mistake. The uh, minimum input voltage should be 4.5 volts. I've tested it. It'll actually work between 3.5, uh, th as low as 3.5 volts at the input, the display, I mean. So you want to make sure that you have at least 3.5 to 4.5 volts at the input for the display to work. Very easy to use. Uh, really neat design. Microcontroller based. That's my input voltage. That's my output voltage. Two terminal blocks, input, output, ready to go, plug and play. There's even four mounting holes, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll be putting all the information up uh, at engineeringshot.com and electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.